So I'm not sure that this is where these are all going to live, but I'm going to get this area all staged up so I can take a nice photo. And then as I put things into the shop, I'll rearrange and create vignettes. We've got this big wall here that we're going to fill up with pegboard. While we're at it, we're going to frame out the pegboard so it makes it look less like pegboard and more like a picture frame sort of deal. I'm using DIY paint in old school. It'll match the shelving we made in the front room and it'll look really good with white trim around it. All right, so this wall here is going to get that huge pegboard and we're going to trim around it like I was telling you. I've only painted the two sides because this is going to be hiding up underneath the pegboard. This is the only part that will be visible. All right, so here's the important part. You might want to grab a stool. Okay. You've got to hold this level while I nail it oh, in. Oh, let me get the steps so. All right, so we are just gonna nail this up to hold it in place, and then it's gonna be holding quite a bit of weight. So what I'll do is I'm gonna bring back in some screws and we'll screw it to the wall. So on this here, there's not a lot for this to hold on to. So what I'm doing is I just ran it through the pegboard and then I'm bending over the nail on the back side. That way the trim doesn't want to bow and come off the pegboard. They smash over pretty easy. You could also use pliers too. So eventually I'm going to wind up putting some IOD molds on this trim and painting over the top of it and really giving it a custom look. But for now, this will do and if I have time, I'll do it. It's one of those things with the shop that we're going to make it look as good as possible when the doors open and then it's going to be a work in progress. We're going to have all the beautiful product up here, but we're also going to make a sign. So we have the IOD logo. Zeb is going to attempt to cut this out on his CNC machine and make a sign that's going to go up here. If he cannot, then we'll just enlarge this, get it printed out on a good paper and frame it out. But we just want it to look, you know, official, but cute. Is that even a thing? I don't know. But you know, I don't want it to look too clinical, but it also needs to look professional. So we're working on it. We got these pretty inexpensive used and these hangers might be a little long because I'm not going to have like 30 of each stamp. So we might have to go get shorter ones. Are you going to have enough to even put all the transfers up? Um, I can use the other ones. You can use like the single hooks. Don't worry. Or I can put them all. I'm just talking about wall space. Oh, yeah. Well, the transfers, I might use the longer hooks and put multiple transfers on one hook. These, I feel like you kind of need to see them. Now I'm talking of oh, the stamps too, though. I'll have enough room for this. I can put all the stamps and transfers on here.
this is the fun part, puzzling this all together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what would fit here? What would fit there? Are they all even? Uh, do we have one of those? I don't think we do. I don't think we have one out yet. Okay. No indie folk yet. Let's put that one here. These. And maybe let's try to keep like floral together or the black, the paintable transfers here. Let me get another long hook. The nice thing is these don't take up too much space. No. Okay. And maybe we want a little bit more space because we're putting different ones together. Which is that one next is fine. That one's going here. Hopefully these don't fall off the wall while we're gone in the night. No. <laughs> I think that's okay. Whoop. We're gonna have to get another stool. That stool that we made that we priced super high has probably been a year or so. It ended up selling, someone bought it at the high price, so now we gotta make a new stool. We'll drop the link below for that stool in case you're interested. We just used an Ikea stool and it was pretty great. So I can understand why they wanted to buy it for $70. It was a lot of work because we put a lot of steps into it. Yeah. All right, you, got, you wanna put this one with the flowers? And now this is a paintable, do we, can we just leave it over here? Yeah, yeah what I'll do is we'll get these up and then I'll figure out which ones are missing and I've got extra room over here, I can always spread them out. Yeah, and you can even hang them down below the display, like if you hang them Well, here. I'm going to do the shorter ones down here. Okay, let's go get those. Did you pull these from the... Yeah, I took a picture. Okay, so you did you pulled those from the, the in, internet the, inventory? The website inventory, yeah, I took a picture so we can take them out of stock. Okay. And then I think we probably only need like four here. So See, this is the same. These are both the same. Yeah. I can always add more. And then this is the small C queen. Yeah, let me open up another box to get the rest of the stamp ones up. We're putting in this shelf. We're using these peg shelf holders. They come in a kit that I picked up at Home Depot from Everbuilt. It actually has a lot of items that come in one kit. Some of it I'll be using later once we get the paint brushes up, but it is much less expensive to buy this kit than it is to buy each piece individually. We might want to label in the front like stone gray, black, yeah. charcoal. We have a label machine. Because so they can... don't really look a lot different in the bottle. They all look about the same color. Yeah, I'll have Caitlin when she inventories these put labels underneath. Okay. So. Are we out of the erasable chalk? Um, no, we just, it's in uh, website inventory, so I'll have to take it out. Okay. okay, so we need hooks then for the knobs, and I think we have like these little hooks. Are you wanting to put the hooks up above here? Well, can we fit the knobs like right in here? Yeah, probably. We are loving creating this space here at our shop. If you've got questions, ideas, comments, we'd love to hear about them. So comment below, let us know what you're thinking about what we've got going on. Still lots of inventorying to do, but we're getting there. While Zeb's editing this video, I'm gonna finish filling this in and making sure we're fully stocked. I'll get him some good pictures, so make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you can see the final result. And we'll also share in our next video how we make the Iron Orchid design sign, and maybe we'll make a DIY paint sign, because this whole room is all gonna be DIY and creative space and tools. So yeah. it's gonna be amazing. If you're interested in any of these products, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. It helps support us so we can create more content like this. So we actually have a lot of stock that we keep on hand, but our old space, we just didn't have the room. There was a tiny little strip of pegboard on there. And now we're going to fill this all in and make it look like it's really well stocked, like we have lots of inventory. And that'll help it look fuller and less skimpy, like we're running out of stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.
hit the subscribe button.